All right, so I was walking downstairs and I noticed water spot over here. This was about a month ago. Then the water spot grew this morning, so I knew for sure I had water leaking in from my window or something. So I climbed all the way up there and inspected it. So there was water dripping down that corner right there, coming down and it was puddling up over here. So it wasn't coming directly from the roof. So now I know it's coming from the window and it's gotta be coming from the outside. In order to stop it, we have to stop it from outside. The ladder over here is set up and I'm about to climb up there and see. You can see I made a homemade keep away. For you people who don't know what a keep away is, you can buy one, they're aluminum. But I just made a quick one about a year ago out of wood. It does make it more top heavy being wood, but I can actually keep away from the wall. And that's what it does. It lets you, allows you to stay away from the wall and work on what you gotta work. So again, back to what we were talking about. There's my window way up there, about 30 feet high. And I know on the ledge up there, the water's gotta be coming in or it's around the window seal. So I know it's coming from this left-hand corner over here and I'm gonna go inspect it. And I have my caulk gun over here ready same color caulk so I probably won't even have to really paint it you can see that's pretty much a good match and I'm gonna go up there chip away any breaking broken debris or whatever I'm gonna end up finding and caulking the area that should solve right, the problem so I'm up here really freaking high and I'm inspecting the window to try to find the problem and the only thing I could find is that water is traveling from the roof in that corner right there I can't use my finger to point um, because when I put my finger on this gray area, it's um, brittle and I know water's getting behind this wall. So the water is actually coming right up under that corner and behind, which should be an easy seal. I could actually see a little piece of metal flashing back there. So it's probably getting right behind it or the roofers forgot to use some because this ledge right here, you can see is still caulked. So I know that water is not getting behind that crevice or behind here and getting behind this crevice my window looks to be pretty sealed i am gonna just in case it is coming through this little crack right there i am gonna seal that just to make sure but i believe it's coming in from behind okay here. so i actually pinpointed the exact location of the water entering behind the gray surface that you see here i can i can't use my finger to point it to you but it is in the center of the screen and it's going in right between that little crack right there right behind the wall, climbing down in here. So that's what's happening. And this area right here, I'll try to push it. No, I can't do it. If I, if I, let me try to show you guys before I fall off this ladder. See, right here, it's very, it moves. Do you see that? So that area right there, which I can't put my finger on, sorry. Right there, right in the center, right there, it's going right behind the wall, behind the paint. So once I caulk that little area, this is gonna solve my whole freaking problem. That's crazy. I'm up here like extremely high doing this video for you guys, so I can't use two hands. Over here, I got a bunch of bees buzzing right by my freaking head. I'm gonna take care of that. We're gonna caulk it with my caulk gun and hopefully right, this is so I just wanna show you guys what I did here. Um, up above here is where the problem was. So now when the water comes off the roof, I know there's flashing in the corner there and the leak is now all sealed. The water has nowhere to go but to drip off the edge of the house or running off the roof and go right into the gutter and the gutter can do what it needs to do. I also caulked the gutter seam on the inside as you can see, just in case that seam was broken um, and the water wasn't doing what it was supposed to, or the gutter wasn't doing what it was supposed to do um, and leaking on the side, which probably wasn't the case. I believe it was that, uh, was that seam right there. So now the water will drip into the gutter and not behind my wall and going inside my house. So if this video helped you out, just remember um, if you have the same type of issue that the problem um, is on the outside, even though you do have to fix what's on the inside of the house and the damage, keep an eye on that spot if you have something like that. And if there's no more water, you're good to go. Give me a thumbs up, thanks for watching. And don't do what I do. Give me a thumbs up, bye beehive and then there's a praying mantis crawling up here